Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Crusader Kings 3. Welcome back to episode 12 of A Conqueror's Legacy. We are currently sitting as Emperor Richard of Britannia, a very young 27 years old, a fine gentleman here, who has seen the conquest of the Kingdom of Norway. I'm hoping to do the same thing with the Kingdom of Denmark. The only problem is that King Baldric over here, um... He's going to get a lot of influence if I do that. Like, a lot of influence. And he also needs to start having children, or... Well, I don't know what happens when he dies, actually. Um, I'm not really sure. Are you going to lose land? I don't know. But something's going to happen for sure, and we're going to find out. So, whatever... What other claims can we possibly have here... I'm wondering, because I want to invade Scotland. Now, King Baldrick has some claims. Uh, Earl Duncan, right? This old dude over here, he's still going strong. <laughs> he's not dead yet, and if he lasts another few years, he'll become King of Scotland. That was the plan from last time. I don't suppose any other Duke or Earl has good claims, and I can only seize the Jure duchies, which is really lame. I mean... Why shouldn't I be able to siege de jure kingdoms? I mean, why not, right? Maybe it's a little bit too powerful. But that's all well and fine, I guess. I suppose because we might be able to create... Oh my god, yeah, the kingdom of Castile is under us. <laughs> we could reconquista in the name of Brittany. Not Brittany, of Britain itself. Speaking of which, I could declare war over here, and I think I might... But what I really want to do is get just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more authority focus or a little bit more uh, lifestyle points over here. Oh, I accidentally dismissed that. Rip. Probably wasn't a very good alliance, but would have been better than none. Oh well. You're converting culture. You should be converting religion. Ten years. Sixty-eight years. Man, Insular, I'm telling you, is impossible to convert. Absolutely impossible. Pastoral Isolation is... Is that perhaps the one? Yes, that's the one. That's why it's having problems here. Um. Oh, and you stopped endorsing me. And you don't like me. Huh. Well, that doesn't... That doesn't really, um... That doesn't really make my day. I'm going to have you endorse me still, because if I don't, that's not very good. Uh, what's happening here? Uh, I really have to pause the game instead of just, just getting rid of every single pop-up here. I keep going through them when I shouldn't. Oh my god. Anyway, we see over here Poland has popped out of Hungary, which is usually what happens. Ooh, Lithuania and Poland. It would be really interesting if there were a decision to create a commonwealth early on, but obviously that would be a little weird. Well, then again, so would be having an empire of Britannia this early on. It's also just a little bit weird. Anyways, I want to declare on someone, and we're about halfway to making that happen. Study an old battle would give me an extra marshal, or... There's a chance for me to gain martial lifestyle experience. I think I'd rather just study an old battle, to be honest with you. I probably would. Okay, let's hope he doesn't die yet. Whatever his name is. Do we still have him? Earl Duncan. Absolute mad lad. 75 years old, but he's still going strong. Ha, <laughs> god. I wonder if he dies, does that invalidate the CB? I feel like it really would. I feel like it would do that. Anyways, I'm going to look into this discreetly, because I have some pretty decent intrigue. Of course, I trusted you all along. Oh, she found out. She found out. That's not very good. Well, that's rather unfortunate. Just like how these factions are rather unfortunate. I might have to rule by fear again. Might have to imprison a few terrible criminals and maybe burn them on a stake. It depends on what we do with them. Can I not? Can I please? Oh, I have to click that and then I have to do this. Okay. 
Step in and protect them. 0% chance to win. <laughs> what is my marshal? Oh my god, my prowess is 4. My marshal's not good either, but my prowess is garbage. Okay. I'd probably die if a flea breathed on me. Okay, so I can gain some dread, which is obviously what I want to get. Um, yes, I think I will actually. Having more dread is amazing, because I can disband all these factions here. If everyone's too afraid, then no one can rise up. Right? Something like that, at least. Interesting how I don't have enough dread for these guys, though. It's a little weird, in my opinion. But okay. Ah, now you have two children. Good. I need to kill you. I need to destroy you right now. Because now you have another son, which will inherit something, so I can split up your lands. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can do that. So, let's hire some more people to this scheme. Also, prisoners, can I, can I torture you? Is that okay? <laughs> okay, as if that was uh, a real question. So, 20... I hate, I hate having this content trait, because this is terrible for me. Well, it's not the worst thing in the world. How much stress do I even end up losing? 26? That's not even very much. That's like one torture. Well, that's useless. Uh, holding a feast would do me pretty well. Uh, a fun... A uh, fun... <laughs> a hunt as well would also be pretty good. Uh, a pilgrimage... That's not going to do much for me, but I might as well. Why not be a pilgrim? Well, oh jeez, I could go all the way to Jerusalem, and I might as well. Here it's a nice place this time of year. Um, it's independent, which is always nice to see. <laughs> oh my god. As my party passes through a small town, I notice a throng of people filling the market square. At the center, a man stands on an overtuned fish cart. Overturned fish cart, my bad. Shouting wildly to all who will listen. The day of judgment is nigh. Repent. Repent, I say, or you shall be damned for all eternity. The worried-looking townsfolk nervously whisper to each other, fears, fearful of the doomsayer's words. I sure am glad this pilgrimage comes with an indulgence, because I need to lose some stress. Alright, just as well, I have a, uh, a new daughter. And... Now, I'm not really sure if this is the first time we've been able to name a child, but I uh, have decided that I'm going to be using the patrons for something like this. So, we're going to be naming this one in honor of one of our patrons, Justinian. However, we're going to name her Justiniana because, well, Justinian isn't a very female name last I checked. So, here we go. Justiniana. And you're not going to inherit anything. Ah, uh, actually, because I have two daughters, you might. Hmm. That means I might have to try and have some more children. That might be a pretty good idea. Okay, uh, what's up? Murders on route. I can pay a hunter to draw a map. Oh, that is so much stress. 66, or sorry, 60% chance to make sure this is fine. 100% chance to make sure it works fine, but I gain some stress, and I pay 36% chance that the secrecy is minus 20. No, 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 no. I'll take the 60% chance. <sighs> God damn. Well, that's not very good. Okay. Pilgrimage reflections. Out here late at night, I can sometimes look to the stars and wonder... Can God even see me this far from home? What am I doing all of this for? Well, I can say God would wish me to, of course, so I get 10% piety. What I truly want is to see foreign lands for worldly pilgrimage. The background music's a little too intense for what's happening here, but anyway. Or I could just get a bit of theocratic ruler, same faith opinion. That's kind of boring. I would much prefer to lose a bit of stress. Especially with the amount that just got there, so that's nice. Um, I suppose I should ransom you. That's fine. I can get a guardian. I'll do it myself, no problem. If you, in theory, are going to be my primary heir, I want you to be good at something in particular. And 
Intrigue's really good. Learning can be pretty good. So let's have you focus on learning. I should also apparently grant you what? The Earldom of Marionef. Why? The Jour Holder, are you now? You also don't like me. So I don't think I'm going to. Also, over here, uh, I was supposed to create some more... Well, to improve a couple of these guys. Uh, my ruler's definitely going to plunge straight into an early grave. I mean, with all these bribes and all these things that are happening, my stress is going to go through the roof. So, um, not exactly sure how great this is going to be for us moving forward. You know, on the health side of things. But I want to be absolutely certain that it is secret and that the task is carried out. I'm also going to ask for money because I just got a bunch of piety. Feels good. Okay, so... Scotland. Earl Duncan, he's still living, man. He's still alive, goddamn. Absolute mad lad is still kicking around. Alright, accept an invitation. Um... I would rather not for that stress, I believe. There we go. Give me Bellum Justum. Earl Duncan. Okay. Let's do it. Let's add Scotland into the realm. Okay. I need to raise some men. I'm sure I have one over here. A rally point. Yeah, but it's a little far. Okay. Let's get a new one. Let's slap it down right here. Let's raise all the men. My army is incredibly expensive. Sheesh. Incredibly. Anyway, I don't feel like paying you. A weak favor might not be bad. I mean, the scheme success is 95%. It's not the it's not the smallest of chances here. I think we'll be doing just fine. But yes, I would like a male heir because that does give me single inheritance in a way. Uh, crime cannot go unpunished. Sure. Sorry, wait, hold on a second. Earl Ing of Ross has... Fathered by my... Oh! Isabella's not my daughter, but apparently fathered by my brother. Oh. Well... That ruins things a lot more. So, if I'm aware that you are not my daughter, then you shouldn't be my heir, correct? Does that... Does that not work properly like that? Can I not remove you as my heir with justified reason, other than to disinherit? Because I feel like I should be able to do that. And it says, you know, I can't murder someone if they're my child. However, I'm now aware of the fact that she isn't. So, what to do with that information, huh? Interesting. I'll just do one. Oh, geez, well, wow. okay. <laughs> Unseen in the crowd, they will report to me. Sure, a bit of progress is good. Seventy. My character is terrible. <laughs> he is so bad. Content ruins everything, and paranoid ruins everything. I'm gonna get to level two stress just from assassinating someone. Well, he's dead which did split his duchy into two which i'm you know i'm thankful for but my character is driving himself straight into an early grave and i'm not a fan of it not while i have two children for inheritance uh smoldering chemistry okay success chance success chance or oh i just get to pick one okay how about east of indus how does that sound Hold on. <laughs> oh, 
Wait a second. So in Earl uh, Elf Elfwald's attempt at improving my re reputation, my incompetent chancellor has agreed to a treaty that cancels out parts of my old treaty, so she can declare me. <laughs> ah. Oh my God. So you're allowed to declare on me, but I can't declare on you. Well, I don't have a, I don't have anything anyway. But if I did, I would be pretty angry. If I had any reason to be upset, then obviously I would be, but it's not the worst thing in the world. How about the small book on theism? Sure. Oh, it sure was great. Amazing. And so, my wife should become my soulmate. Becomes my lover. Good, good. <laughs> Leave me be. <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. Uh, I actually I want a male heir, so... I am... Going to do what's need what needs to be done. Okay, what's up here? Leading a patrol when I spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of the night. Hooded cloaks obscure their faces, but my one's ungainly gait. Ungainly gait, okay. I recognize... Oh, that is a name and a half. Uh, one of my knights. My lord, whispers one of my men, they're deserting. What should we do? Kill them. <laughs> I hope I don't get wounded. The deserters. Uh, a short scuffle of deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier is present, both loyal and not. Okay. They're only children. We just want to go home. No one told me that. Oh, oh well. <laughs> uh, demoralize for advantage minus one. That can be an impact. 35 dread. Oh, dude, wait. Am I, do I need dread right now? I don't need dread right now. I don't need to. They'll be scrubbing for months. Let's hope this does something. Heightened soldier morale. Huh. Okay, so do I do I get a point or was it just like baiting me? Okay, I feel a little bit baited, but oh well. I didn't get a point, it feels bad. There we go. There is another son, my male heir. Absolutely wonderful. Alright, time to pick another one. And my male heir today is going to be named Gregory. After one of the patrons as well. Okay. Nice. It's not a very English sounding name, but uh, he's the heir to the entire empire, so... Better carry out the, uh, the duties just as well. Let's chase after you. Come on, get back here. Ooh, that's actually a lot of... A lot of penalties I'm going to get there, but that's still a solid victory, taking the queen hostage. Enforce those demands. And it is beautiful. The Empire of Britannia, fully united for the first, first time in history? I think so. First time in history. Absolutely beautiful. The Kingdom of Scotland, I, I don't like, I don't like that being there, but you know what? <laughs> sure. So... Our very old 77-year-old king, King Duncan III of Scotland. Mad lad. But there we go. We have the Empire of Britannia, the Kingdom of Scotland, working together here. We have the Kingdom of Castile. We have the Kingdom of Norway. And I might grab the Kingdom of Denmark, but it looks like the king sort of died. Yep, perhaps he did. And if he died... We no longer have a claim to the kingdom, which is unfortunate. How about here, though? Mm, no, no claim to the kingdom specifically, but we do have something. How about over here? Holy wars are always valid. How about a holy war against you? Would that work? It would be hard. You have some good allies, and you're strong. Hmm, I'm not quite sure. How about the Holy Roman Empire? They would crush me. Ah, I see. So, never mind then. Sweden, maybe? You guys all have the exact same claims. <laughs> would you happen to be part of the same family, maybe? I feel like you would be. Same dynasty or something, it's gotta be. There's no way you all conveniently have the exact same claims. Huh, weird. Kingdom of Finland, maybe? 
Holy Wars. Wait. Oh, they're tribal. They're Swomensko. Swomenusko, that one. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I said. Okay. And I don't have any claims to anything else in this entire world. So, I mean, kind of chillax, to be honest. Oh boy, reach stress level 2. Well, isn't that great? Um, tell the cook to stop making my dinner. I don't want it. Oh, wow. I lose famish and I get starved. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> and reclusive. Oh, my lord. This is not, not a very good time. How about you pay me some stuff here? How about force partition? You will stay partitioned forever. And as for my prisoners... Well... It's not like I can torture children, but apparently I'm allowed to execute them. Hmm. Well, isn't that nice? Ah, uh, let's see here. Hmm, we'll keep them alive for now. For some extra dread later on. And now the last thing I would really ever want is the Yaldum of Iceland. Because that's part of Norway, so if I clean up Norway, I'll feel pretty good about it. So, let's raise some of the local troops. We don't need all of them. I'm pretty sure literally this is fine, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, let's start the journey. Alright, a bit of martial lifestyle. I could be friends, or I could chastise him, gaining some dread. I would kind of prefer to get martial lifestyle experience before I leave and go to a different path here. Alright, just gotta siege this down. Ah, oh, rest in peace, one of my knights. It's always bound to happen in the end. Are we really going to do this? Are we going to keep running around? Uh, I can't believe this. Oh my god. You're not my... <laughs> not again. Not again, man. Ah. Uh. So, I can rightfully imprison... Does that give me the ability to disinherit again? Well, I never got it the first time, did I, so... Disinheriting still costs this much. Despite the fact that you are not my child. I don't like it. We'll succeed. <laughs> yeah, do it. Can't believe you've done this. I had so much faith, so much trust, and you did this. Also, why am I doing it this way? We can just... Huh, wait, wait, what? Huh? That's not how this works. Oh, there's the timer. But yeah, that's not how any of this works. Anyway. We are done. And thank you. Beautiful. Okay, so Britannia is looking like a very, very wonderful empire. Uh, I'm not really sure where we'd go on from here. It feels like we've done everything I felt like. There's... Yeah, it's kind of weird, actually. Other than, you know, maybe become King of France or something, but... I think that opportunity has passed us up. So, we managed to get ourselves the Kingdom of Castile. Uh, England... Wales, we didn't make a kingdom, did we? Oh, uh, no, we did. I hold it. Okay. So, we have, like, a billion kingdoms within our very nice empire, and I'm feeling pretty satisfied right now. I don't know, I may or may not continue. Uh, if I don't continue the series, then here's the sign-off for the rest of the series. If I do, then well, I'll catch you in the next one. But for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout-out to all of the patrons for the month of September. Especially those we have in the general tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, Torvalved, and Farron. Those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. Those in the King tier, Chewy Shoot and Corbite. 
in the Elector tier we have Drunk Binary, and the Mad Lad in the Conqueror of Worlds tier is The Watcher. Thank you so much for your continued support and pledges, it means a lot to me, and you're helping to move this channel forward more than you know.